a leader's algebra equation two, subtract before you add. If you've been following along, you already remember equation number one. Be mindful not to add to your dysfunction. Today, I want to share with you about subtraction. You may know the 80-20 rule. It suggests that 20% of the people do 80% of the work. And I've found that to be true in most organizations and teams. And since that's true, does it always make sense to add more? To add more to the team, add more people, add more employees? More, as I mentioned before, doesn't always mean better. More simply means more. So before you add, before you're in a rush as a leader to get bigger on your team and add more employees and people, be mindful to subtract from that 80, that 80% that may not be carrying their weight. Why are they not carrying their weight? Are they bored out? As a leader, have you provided them opportunities for growth, for training, to up their talent and work ethic? Once you've done that, and they're still not producing, it may not make sense to add more to your dysfunction, to add more to poor leadership, to add more for only 20% to function accordingly. Start subtracting from that 80%. See what's left and who's left, trimming down your team to be efficient yet powerful. And so they're not overworked and now burnt out. Now you can build on that powerful 20% being sure to add value and impact to the positions and roles that are necessary for the vision that you have for your team, for your people, the organization, and the world and your clients and customers. Guys, that's a simple and short rule of being able to subtract before you add. You may not have the power to do the initial subtraction, Perhaps you work in a big organization where that's not your role or decision. How do you start to impact that 80%? By being very clear with your vision and vision factors, the expectations and the rules, being willing to have those tough conversations and having a process that will allow win-wins, allowing them to take their mediocrity somewhere else where they can be an advantage. And therefore opening up a spot for somebody powerful to come into your team and organization. Rewarding that 20% and then adding on top of that existing 20. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out and I hope that this resonated with you. If you like this, you're gonna love everything at youevolvingnow.com. That's Y-O-U, evolvingnow.com. I look forward to connecting with you and being of value and impact for your organization, your leaders, your employees, and your teams. Until then, enjoy your evolution.